Okay, guys, this is 10 kVA, 10 kVA. Together we have 20 kVA. And this is 15, 15 kilowatts. Together we have 40, uh, 5 kilowatts hour lithium ion battery. Uh, we are going to be having another charge controller. This 10 kVA is hybrid and it comes with inbuilt charge controller of uh, 120 amps. And we still have uh, a high voltage of 195 BDC. Same thing with this inbuilt MPPT charge controller, 120 amps. 195 VDC. That's for our, for our PV. Okay, guys, I'm going to be paying these two inverters to give us a total of 20 kVA. You understand? All right. So it is very easy to do it, but if you miss it, you might end up blowing this system or both of the system anyway. You might end up costing you a lot of money to um, to fix. Okay. So pay attention. You first of all make sure all the breakers are off. Yes, the input and output, just switch it off. Then we have our communication cable. Can you see our communication cable? We're connected. If you have more than two inverter you want to pay, maybe you want to pay like four, three, nine, six, then you can take from here. Or you can as well take from this other side too. So, I'm just paying to, that's why I just need one single communication cable. Can you see it? So, you connect this to this one, the in to the other one out. That's what you connect it. And after doing that, you will come, you just press and hold this place. The setting will come out. Then, press it. Just press back. So, for easy access, you can see it's on single fit. The same thing to this press and hold the setting will appear. Go back, you can see a single, single, single. Now we've paired the two inverter. So we want to put it on parallel. You just press this place, it will start blinking. But if you are pressing this up and down, it will not answer you. The same thing goes to this. When you press this place, it will start blinking. But if you want to put it on parallel, it will not answer because the switch is still on. The switch is still on. Watch as I turn it off. Now the water is off. The water is off. You can see it. The key is working. Single phase. This is three phase. Now before you can uh, make this system for the three phase, you have to have at least three kVA. Three, uh, 10 kVA, like three of this inverter to achieve that. So, because we are not making it three, uh, three phase, we just want to make it single phase, but 20 kVA. We want the inverter to work together, combine the both power together. So, I already switch up the turn of the switch, then just press it. This you see parallel. Once you see this PAL, that's parallel. You click here, now uh, it has set. Come to this place as well. Okay. You see, it's on single. Single, single. But we are, we are trying to pair the two. Once you set it, maybe the screen will go off on its own. See, host now. The one you set first is going to be the host. The one you set last. Will be the sleeve. Now this is uh, this is this is still single. So I want to parallel them. I want to put this to inverter. So for me to do that, I'll press this place. It will start blinking. Then uh, I'll do what? I'll press up here. I press up. It will not function. I have to switch it off. Just the way I did on this one as well. Once you switch it off. Before you can carry out the setting, then put it to three phase. Okay, come back parallel. Once you set it on parallel, press here. The setting will just enter. Then start. Then okay, you can lay the screen to so, so go off, or you can decide to run it back on this one. But let me just leave it to go off so that you guys will confirm it. All right. 
So he's on parallel now. We have 20 kV. Let's watch. When the system comes on, this one will be what? This one will be the host. Why this will be the slave? Because I programmed this before this. Now the screen has gone up. Turn it on. Turn this one on as well. You see? This host. This is what slave. Now the, they are going to be functioning as the same inverter. Can you see? Slave. This is host. So this is our master. This is the slave. So it's very easy. If you need any further questions, drop it at the comment section. Thank you. So, these are both bad. If you want to have something like this and you need light to be, because this light, one will serve as uh, the inverter as food, the other one will serve as nipper. These are our bus bar. Where the batteries, another charge controller is connected. And all these are protective devices. Then we have our automatic change of switch. Yeah, okay? So if you need further posting, slide to my DM. I'll drop it at the comment section. Thank you.